Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. And today's video is a bit special because after a year of thoughts and testing out different laptops, I have finally bought the MacBook Pro M4. And today in this video, I'm going to share my first impressions. As you guys know, my work has evolved a lot over time. I have got this beautiful studio setup, but the nature of my work requires me to consistently be on the move whether it's for client shoot, personal projects, or just my love for travel. I'm always on the go. I needed a machine that could keep up with my lifestyle. Portable, powerful, and reliable. Over these years, I have tried different laptops and MacBooks uh, here and there. Like on my recent trip to Delhi, I bought the MacBook Air M1 with me to edit the whole vlog. Also, on my recent trip to Darjeeling, I bought the MacBook Air M2 with me to edit the stuff I'm shooting over there. I think that was the X7 video, whatever. But uh, let me tell you, the battery life and the performance on this MacBooks made me realize that this is what I needed for my work. So it was a pretty easy decision to go with the MacBook Pro and whatever the latest chipset is, which is right now the MacBook Pro M4. Let's talk about the specs for a moment. This is the MacBook Pro M4 14 inch and here's what it packs. A 10 core CPU, a 16 core GPU, 16 GB of unified memory, basically RAM, 512 GB of SSD storage, 16 core neural engine for AI tasks, a stunning 14.2 inch liquid retina XDR display with 120 Hz ProMotion. On the body, it features three Thunderbolt 4 ports an HDMI port and an SD card slot, a headphone jack, a MagSafe 3 port for charging, and of course the Magic Keyboard with Touch ID and a massive trackpad. Also, it comes with a 70 watt USB-C power adapter. And as Apple says, this machine is built for Apple intelligence. Now, this is not a full in-depth review. For that, I need some more time. I need to spend some more time with this machine, but until then, for now, let me share my first impressions of this machine. First off, this thing is crazy smooth. Within a week, I have edited few videos, done all my usual tasks, and it hasn't skipped a bit. The battery life is incredible. I use it extensively, and it just keeps going without breaking a sweat. The display is phenomenal. The 120 Hz, ProMotion makes everything looks buttery smooth. And the Liquid Retina XDR display is perfect for editing with its accurate color and incredible brightness. Plus, the portability and form factor are just what I needed for my workflow. So, that's it for my first impression of the MacBook Pro M4. It's been an amazing experience so far. But before posting the full in-depth review, I want to spend some more time with it. I want to edit more projects. I want to test out all the features, the battery life properly, and then I'll post the full in-depth review. And I will cover if this machine, the MacBook Pro M4 14 inch, is a good option for content creators, video editors, and people like that. So if you like this video, and if you think this video provided any value, hit the like button and if you want to see the full in-depth review or more content related to tech, photography and cinematography, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. See you guys in the next one. Till then, tada!